ADF's tuned into the middle market. You keep your eye on it. <laughs> San Diego approach control, Navy on 4372 Kilo. I'd like to shoot a practice instrument landing into Lindbergh, traffic permitting. Navy on 72 Kilo, Roger, stand by. Well, as far as I go. How about you? You live in this town? I used to. I've been away. Well, thanks for the lift. How come you wanted me to? Drive, I mean. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I only drive when I'm alone. Hey, why not? Lindbergh Tower, 7-2 Kilo coming up on the auto market. 7-2 Kilo, Roger, clear to land. So you want to tell me how well it works, Frank? I don't know what to say, Mr. Carlisle. Worked fine on the bench. Yeah, Frank, that's where everything works. Are you one of those people who just gets on the phone and breathes? No, wrong number. Does that mean I can come in? I can't believe it. Oh. You want to know how many ADFs I've got on my bench? You want to know? Uh, no, Frank. You know, Mr. Carlisle, you, you've got a very sharp omni in here. ADF is only a backup anyway. Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, I'm flying my wife and a friend down to Weimar, Frank. And I'm not flying over Mexico without an ADF. How many years you been going down to Wymus? Ten? No, twelve. You still can't find it in, in weather like this? Come on. Mr. Carlisle Lindbergh didn't have any automatic direction finder. He hit Paris in the fog. Frank, fix it.
feel. To be back. What's it been? Two years? Um, 18 months. 18 months. <clears throat> What'd you think, I was dead? If I had, I would have filed for the insurance. Thanks for keeping in touch, you know, all the little newsy letters and postcards and phone calls from exotic climes. What do you want from me? I'm here, all right? Yeah, all right. I'm sorry, David. You know, whatever you were trying to do or wherever you've been, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out for you. What makes you think that it hasn't worked out for me? Well, you said yourself you're home, aren't you? You don't look so hot. Clothes are worn out. Heels are off your shoes. Look at the tailpipes on your car. You need new rings. Is there anything that you don't miss? Not much. Did you come home for money or is it something else? I don't know. I'm here. I walked through the door. Yeah, that's a start. We're flying down to Wyman's tomorrow to the beach house. I want you to come with us. Are you kidding? You know I'm not going to go back there. Well, wait a minute. Maybe I misunderstood. You gave me the impression you needed money. Well, what's that got to do with anything? Well, you intend to earn it, don't you? I should hope so. I'll give you three dollars an hour to come to Wyman's. You smile in the right place and tell a few jokes, I'll give you four. You'd really pay me. That's right. Why? To buy your mother two weeks of knowing where you are. You've got to be kidding. The end justifies the means, isn't that right? What? Well, maybe. I'm not going to argue about it. Now, look, you've come home. I respect that. Why don't you take the next step? Oh, no, I'm not going back there. I just can't. Harry died 18 months ago. Is that what you're running away from? I'm not running. You're running away from oh. something. Maybe it's yourself. Now, why don't you stop? Is it all right if I come in? Sure. In fact, we were just coming down to you. Davey's got a surprise for you. Surprise? Well, go on. Tell her. <laughs> tell her. I'm going down to Wymus with you tomorrow. David. You won't recognize the house. We screened in that porch, you know. I built a big stone barbecue. What's this? Steak knives. Oh, you don't really think you're going to get me on the court with you? Now, you? wait a minute. You may get your big chance. I'm two years older. darling, you're right on time. You didn't tell me she was coming. Didn't I? Well, if it's any consolation, I didn't tell her about you either. Hello, David. Carol's at Stanford now, David. Sociology, isn't it? I'm a psych major. Oh, of course you told me that. The sandwiches. I left the sandwiches and the coffee right back. Look, David, I've got ten days before finals. My folks are down there. I needed a ride. If the plane's too full, I can fly down with the Walters tomorrow. Uh, really, don't worry about it. No. He had no right. And I wanted to see you when I was ready on my own terms. Thanks. For what? 
for calling me yesterday. It was you, wasn't it? Contact. Taxi to runway 27 and hold short. Wind 250 at 7. Roger, 72 kilo. Lindbergh Tower, this is Navy on 4372 kilo, ready for takeoff. Over. Roger. 7-2 kilo. Clear for takeoff. She's all yours. No, I don't want her. Come on, it's just like swimming. You don't forget that. It wasn't part of our deal, was it? Navy on 7-2 kilo. Are you rolling, sir? 7-2 kilo. On our way. VFR flight plan to Wymas, please. Over. Uh, Roger, 72 kilo. Weather in Wymas still reported as 6,000 scattered. Visibility five miles. Have a good trip, sir. Thank you, San Diego. Ah. Yes, so San Diego plays music for you. There she is. My old alma mater. That's what you always say, huh? Take off, open my flight plan, and there she is, my old alma mater. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, I guess I'm just predictable, right? Lear 304, go ahead. Roger, just climbed out of Guimas, and the weather is going to pieces in a hurry. Severe turbulence, massive thunderhead buildup. Thought you better let the boys know, over. Roger 304, understand. We have one departure and we'll advise. I still have him in sight. A Navy on 4372 Kilo, this is Lindbergh Tower, over. the Omni frequency. Navy on 4372 Kilo, Lindbergh Tower. I have an urgent pilot advisory. Come in, please. I say again, I say again, I have an urgent pilot advisory. Come in, please. Come in, please. Rosario Omni, this is 7-2 Kilo. Before leaving your range, give you an update on Wymas weather. Over. Roger, 7-2 Kilo. Please stand by for Wymas weather. Looks like it's building. Rosario Omni, 7-2 Kilo, still waiting for Wymas weather. 
Rosario Omni, Rosario Omni, this is Navy on 72 Kilo. Come in, please. Probably out of range. What's the next station? Let me see you. Hermosillo Omni, this is Navy on 4372 Kilo. Do you read? Over. Well, let's ease around this. Check on the ADF in case we have to home in. Honey, break me out of sandwich, will you? Would you believe I went all the way back to the car and forgot them? Oh, well, never mind. We'll have a better appetite for our barbecue on the beach, right? In the rain? Hermosillo Radio, this is Navy on 4372 Kilo. Do you read me? Over. stuck to his flight plan, he's here. Yeah, he's flying right into the teeth of it. According to what he's filed, he has an instrument rating and a full house panel. Hmm. The trouble is, he's running out of choices. Hmm. Now, if he's smart, he'll tune to Hermosillo, shoot an instrument landing, and call it a day. Yeah, yeah, that's his move. Sorry, it's no move. Hermosillo reported the first class electrical storm. Knocked out his antenna and transmitter. They're off the air for two hours. Hermosillo Omni, do you read? One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you read? One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you read? Take over, David. Steer one, six, five. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? No, I don't want the responsibility. You're stuck with it. Now take it over. No, it's all David's. David, do something. Easy. Don't bring her up too fast. turning back? That's right. Rosario Omni is the only radio fix we can count on. Why don't you use the ADF? Because it isn't working. This is TWA 175 over Rosario, flight level 25, now estimating San Diego at 10. Roger 175. We have an unreported Navy on in your area, VFR. Have you anything on your radar? Over. Uh, negative, San Diego. And if he's under us, VFR, he's in trouble.
now. If we get ice, we're in trouble. Mayday, Mayday, this is Navy on 4372 Kilo. Any station, this is Navy on 4372 Kilo. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Our position is 120 miles due west of Hermosillo. Mayday, Mayday. Off course. That's right. Do you think we can walk out of here? Without food and water, no way. You don't have to. We've got the two way radio and the batteries juiced up. And there's a jet service from La Paz to California. That's it right there. Just stand watch, wait for a jet to fly over, have a little chat with him. You make it sound easy. Why not? Come on. some stuff your father wants. A plastic cup and a cleaner's bag. He says he's going to make water. That's all there is to it? That's all there is to it. Moisture from the ground gathers on the plastic, drips into our little cup. Slow but it's sure. I thought you could squeeze cactus and get all the water you wanted. Cactus, no. That's a bunch of baloney. Most cactus is toxic. Drive you crazy. Where'd you learn all this? Navy sent me to survival school way back in 1952. It's the year I was born. Do you know everything? David always said you did. Right now, I hope you do. Here. It's not bad. Fruit of the barrel cactus. That's it. It'd be good for you. All right. 
If that's not to your liking, we have other things on the menu. Some nice crunchy jojoba beans. Don't treat me like a child. All right. I'm sorry, Mother. Really works? Sure it works. Another couple of hours, I'll have a drink. How much water will it give us? Oh, about a cup a day if we're lucky. You know, if we just had four of these. Just to be hypothetical, if someone doesn't bother to come and rescue us, how long have we got? Six or seven days. Depends who you are. Florence will go first. Then David. It's up to you and me. The last one will survive. There's enough water for one. Well, I think we should give the first cup to Florence. She needs it more than we do. Okay. Hey, Dad! I got one! San Diego. Approach control, this is Western 35, coming up on Eugenia checkpoint at 1425. Good, give me that thing. Western 35. Hello, Western 35, this is Navion 4372 Kilo. Come in, please. Hello, Western 35, this is Navion 4372 Kilo. Come in, please. Hello, Western 35. This is an aircraft in distress. Navy on 4372 Kilo. Come in, please. Aircraft in distress. Why? Well, there's your answer. The lightning. Nobody heard our call, did they? Couldn't transmit then, we can't transmit now. We've had it, haven't we? That's my old man. Will you look at him? I mean, when you finish, you finish, right? But not him. He'll stand out there waving that ridiculous flag till he keels over. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? It doesn't really matter what he's doing. Why? Because I'm here. David the Jonas. I feel like I'm... Oh, I don't know. You see, it's bad enough that I killed your brother. But no. Now I'm going to get him, Jason Carlyle, invincible. I get everybody this time. Well, that answers one question anyway. Where you were the last 18 months, why you didn't come home? There's some things, Carol, that you just don't get over. Like having Jason Carlyle for a father? I was talking about Harry. Were you? I was in that doom buggy, too. I could have stopped it, but I didn't. And Harry died. I did the same thing you did. I gave up. I paid. Nature's a wonderful thing. Grief only lasts about six months, and then it dries up like the desert. No, you don't understand. See, I can see him every day. You think I don't? You remember forever that the pain goes away. Unless you have a reason to keep it. David, maybe your way of never having to compete with your father is by never attempting to do anything. By giving up. How is your excuse for giving up? No. That's not true. And if there hadn't been a Harry, you'd have found something else. 
You may not know it, but I do. Baby, come here. Listen, see that marker out there? I figure that's about 600 feet. Now listen, we got a quarter of a tank of gas, and we got three things to do before we can get out of here. Straighten the bent prop, fix the oil line, and we're gonna build a runway. Build a runway without yeah. bare hands? Without bare hands, that's what we're gonna do. Now how long is that gonna take? Four days. Well, don't look like that. I'm telling you, that's what we're going to do. Now, take hold of that and give me a hand. 600 feet is not enough. You'll never get off the ground. It's enough if there's a wind. A wind? Well, how are you going to arrange that? Call God? Listen, kid. In four days from now, we're going to get in this plane and fly out of here, or we're going to die here. Now, you take your choice. <laughs> that's Flo. Well, honey. No! <laughs> with her? It's called withdrawal. Dope. She's an alcoholic. How long has that been? Half began when we got married. It really got bad when you took it on yourself to disappear. I didn't know. What you don't know. Well, all right, let's go. Take a break. Give her the flow, honey. You have to have some. You're not going to last another day in the sun if you don't have some water. Give her the flow. Hello. Neighborhood water wagon. No, I, I don't want any. You're the ones that are working. It's just your share. My share? Well, why is my share bigger than anybody else's? Well, you need as much water as we do, maybe more. You're, you're probably drying out faster. But what do you mean, drying out? I'm sorry. I, I know about the drinking. Drinking? a little late in the day for this. I know about the drinking. I'm sorry I know about it. Who told you, Jason? What difference does it make? Why did he have to tell you? I can't afford to. I can't afford not to. 
We use three times as much energy in the midday sun. It's insane. All right, all right. You, you two go and sit under the wing. What about you? I'm all right. Go and sit under the wing. Go on. going? Uh, it's going. Slowly. It means you're angry at me for just lying here. No, I'm not. Yes, Jason, you are. It's funny how everything we've ever done has led us here. To these rocks, this Useless place. Everything. I wonder if it would have been different if I'd gone on working after we were married. What are you talking about? Nothing would have changed. Yes, it would. Look at me, Jason. I'd have changed. Now, in the, in the 20 years that we've been married, that you only asked me once to help you with anything? Just once. You were in a hurry and you asked me to type a letter for you. Remember? That was 15 years ago. I was so happy, so proud. But you didn't even thank me you just gave me hell for misspelling a word one word you know what that word was conglomerate oh. this is jason carlisle big deal i've raised your son for you and I washed your socks, and I poured drinks for your friends when they came over, but none of that has prepared me for this. Nobody could have been prepared for this. It's okay. No, it's not okay, Jason. It is not.
make them do it. What are you doing with that? Getting rid of it. Don't. It's food. Okay, ladies first. Couldn't you cook it a little bit? You can cook it. You boil the moisture out of it. We need the moisture as much as the meat. Now, come on, kid. Come on, Carol. Now, look, we need one long, good day's work to finish the runway. And I want to tell you, unless we eat this, we won't have the strength to do it. Now, take my word for it. I guarantee you, you take a taste and you forget what it's all about. Well, what are you waiting for? Forget all about it, huh? Can't be right all the time, can you? So sure. Because you're here. De la península habrá corrientes de aires fuertes y una condición muy nublosa. Operar aeroplanos livianos se considera muy peligroso a menos de 1,500 pies de altura. Can I come in? Ahora oh yes, yeah. sure. Hoy dos turistas franceses fueron arrestados por posesión de drogas ilegales. Would you like some music?
What are you thinking about? Nothing. No, that's not true. I was thinking about what you said to me, uh, about me and my father. Maybe you were right. David, I... No, I, I've been thinking about it a lot. I didn't believe it, but now... I don't know. Today, when I grabbed that flag and I put it into the ground, I thought to myself, my God, I'm alive. I mean, I felt so good inside. Me, here, now, what I am. I think that I can be something more than just Jason Carlisle's kid. I know I can. I felt it today. Am I making any sense? Do you think it would be too much trouble for you to put your arms around me? You're so stupid. I missed you. You'll never know how much I missed you. Honey, wake up. It's happened. We got a wind. We got a wind. Davy! Davy! Davy, come on. Wake up, kids. Just like I said, we're gonna get a wind. Come on. Help me push her out of the runway. Help Flo get the thing. Come on. Come on, kid, other side. He's gone. Yeah, the radio on. You fell asleep listening to the radio. You blew it. You blew it. Holy chance, you blew it. You blew it listening to the radio. You, you know damn good you never were any good. I said just then, what I said, that's not true. What I said back then, it's, it's not true. It never was true. Come on. You're, you're my boy. Not true, baby. Never was. Come on. You're my boy. Come on. You're my buddy. Hey. Come on. Come on. Now listen. It's not a wind at the front moving in. So I've got about five or six minutes to get the engine started. Or well, we're not going to get out of here at all. Okay, listen. Good. Just get in the cockpit. Okay. How are you going to start the engine? I'm going to prop it by hand. You can't do that. You tried that once before. It's not a Piper Cub. I'm going to try it again. Get in the cockpit. Come on, here, my buddy. Get it. Come on.
Okay, give me full rich. Full rich! All right. Contact. Contact! Switch off. Give me a third throttle at full rich. All right, third throttle and full rich. Okay. Contact. Contact. She wants it. Switch off. Switch off. Try the full rich again. Okay. Full rich. Contact. Wait a minute. Switch off. Off. Contact, Davy. Contact. probably run into a mountain, but at least we'll know where we are. Confirming unidentified radar. 
contact. Bearing 180. Appears to be small aircraft. Roger. Confirming at 180. Give me course and speed. Captain. Captain, CIC room. Radar contact now classified as light aircraft. Speed 140 knots, range 48 miles and closing. Where did she come from? Right out of the middle of Baja, sir. Straight at us. Very well. Continue plotting. What do you think, Mr. Hicks? Some bush pilot with a load of marijuana? Could be, sir. I'll contact the Mexican authorities and notify FAA. That'll be fine, but I can't take a chance. Sound flight quarters. Aye, sir. Primary, prepare to launch intercept five. Attention on deck. Flight quarters. Flight quarters. Prepare to launch aircraft. Prepare to launch aircraft. <laughs> dry back on the main. How long will that give us? I don't know. Fifteen minutes, maybe. Eagle Base, this is Sundown 1. On Vector, have visual contact with target at 10 miles and am closing over. Sundown 2, this is Sundown 1. Gear and flaps. Give up. Help me. Keep your eyes moving. It's got to be out there somewhere. Dad. I don't believe it. Can't you talk to them? Not without a transmitter. Find me something to write with, uh, a grease pencil or, or lipstick. Thank you. 
you, Hilo is standing by. Very well. The common frequency will be 121.5. Radio report from the FAA, sir. Uh, that plane's been missing for a week. The pilot of record is the boy's father. He must be the injured man. The boy's name is David Carlisle. No current pilot license. We have aircraft in sight bearing 200 degrees. David Carlisle, this is the captain of the USS Ranger. We are aware of your situation, and we intend to bring you and your family down safely. But you must stay calm, and above all, obey my instructions. Is that clear? He is indicating affirmative, sir. All right, son. There's only one way. You're going to keep your wheels up and set the plane down on the water near the ship. On the water, understood. No, I won't do that. I can give a very definite negative to that, Captain. David, a sea landing is the only safe way. Our Gila will pick you up immediately. Still negative, sir. Young man, you listen to me. You are not an experienced pilot. You have no arresting here on your plane. It is safer to land in the sea. He must be pretty shook up, sir. I don't think he'll listen. Sundown 1, this is the captain. Can he fly that thing? Yes, sir. So far, so good. This is the captain. Clear the flight deck. Break the barricade. Stand by to receive aircraft. All right, David. We're going to do it your way. Lights are activated. Captain, the approach light system's liable to confuse him. You're right. Turn it off. Better. Commander Bark is an old time LSO. Get him down the fan tail with a set of paddles. Paddles? I don't think we have any, sir. Then use signal flights, but get on it. All right, David. Keep your eyes on the deck. A barrier net is going up. That's your target. Nice power on landing. The net will do the rest. Do not attempt a pattern. Just come in at about half the run. Sundown flight breaking off. 7-2 kilo. Make it a good one. All right, now, David, give me full flaps. Now give me a 90-degree turn to the left. Sweat, David. You gotta have faith in that net. It will stop you. Now keep your turn tight. Don't swing out too far. You're too tight, David. You're too tight. Swing out wider. Go round. Go round.
Officer of the deck to the bridge. That is, officer of the deck to the bridge. He's awake and he wants to see you. How's he doing? You'll see. Commander Ely. Commander Ely. Report to the wardroom. That is, Commander Ely. Report to the wardroom. Dad? How you doing? You're on the wrong side. Hey, listen. Congratulations. Offered you a commission or something like that? Not yet. Guess I gotta add flight pay, what I already owe you. Debt's canceled. I owe you. I'm glad they saved your arm. Oh. You don't know it. You flew me to the best hospital in a thousand miles. Not very smart. Oh, why is that? Lost your chance to beat me at tennis. <laughs> You're something, you know that. You are really something. So are you. Relieve the watch. That is, relieve the starboard watch. Now, there we go. You see that name, Harv Bennett. Now, here's a tenuous link for you. He's the guy who's produced some fantastic shows, Star Trek, The Six Million Dollar Man, and The Bionic Woman, to name but three. And The Bionic Woman herself, Lindsay Wagner, is up next, starring as a woman struggling to rebuild her life following the death of her husband and her daughter. It's a bit of a romantic drama, so indulge in a bit of slushiness to take us into the weekend. Danielle Steele's Once in a Lifetime, next on Five.